How's it going guys? English Twist, I take assist. Or actually today, should I say, it's actually an English Twist Space Boys quest. Uh, I thought it'd been a, it's been a while since I did one of my little uh, Kennedy Space Center uh, tours of the area, so I thought none other than a better time. I've put out a couple of uh, reviews and some other, what else have I got on? Right now I've got my giveaway going on, so you know, be sure to get in on that one. Uh, remember to post your comments in that video just as much as you do in my other videos. You know, keep those comments coming, rate, comment, subscribe, you know, as as I say, do the usual steps, but without further ado, let's jump in on the subject of this video. Um, I thought a great location to show you guys uh, would be, well actually let me give you a question. When you when you think of NASA, right, I know the first thing you probably think about is what? The shuttle, right? I mean obviously there are other uh, companies that I've answered in a number of questions with you guys. The uh, you know NASA is the main figurehead that you that you all know, but there are a lot of other agencies that aid um, and play a key role in the is in the interspace web. Okay. Well, you know, but namely have NASA, you have USA United Space Alliance, you have uh, ULA United Launch Alliance, uh, you got Boeing, Lockheed Martin. The list just goes on and on. But those are to name, you know, just the main uh, main ones that I'm sure a number of you are actually very familiar with. Uh, I, right now, I'm, I apologize for the for the light. Actually, I'm sitting in the car. I don't like the whole rushing at the cars going by and actually had to find a good location because there's there's actually two things that I'm going to show you in this video and uh, I wanted to shoot it in one one foul swoop you know not have to cut if I don't have to hopefully I won't be blabbing too much and <laughs> we'll get it in this video but um, sorry I got a bit off subject there we've got uh, yeah so you've got those companies that are all in one web now there's one particular building um, that a number of you may be familiar with, uh, you know, if ever you see a NASA um, advertisement or you know something promoting promoting their company or an upcoming launch, etc. There's always one particular building that's always in that picture. And if you ever come out here to uh, the Kennedy Space Center, the main building that you know, I'm sure they'd hype on other than like the the Complex 39 um, pad, which is actually where they where they host the the shuttle on launches. Uh, it's actually this building right here on my right. Don't wait for it. I will bring it to you. Actually, there's no other better intro than that. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and grab the camera, and I'm actually going to show you. Oh yeah, there's vans going by right now. I've been talking for three minutes right now, and look at this. But right now, I'm going to. Just pick up the camera, so excuse the shaking guys, I put on the anti, the anti shake or have you, but alright, here it is, it's the, <laughs> some of you will probably say, oh I know that building, and some of you are like, oh wow, that's pretty cool, but this building right here is the Vehicle Assembly Building, it's the VAB, alright, and what they, what this building is actually for, it's the house for the shuttle. You, know, you have the Space Shuttle Endeavour, who is, which has just been launched, SDS-126, um, to the, uh, to the uh, Sp International Space Station, and uh, this this complex also used to house the uh, Titan rocket. Now you can see here these doors. Now I just want to give you guys a little taster of size. I'm, you know, this building is pretty pretty huge actually. The, each one of these stars. Now don't quote me on this, but each one of these stars, I am told. Uh, is a six foot diameter okay so this building is massive that's hence why I'm actually sitting quite far away from it right now I don't want to be giving anybody uh, whiplash from having or namely me actually from filming it because I thought if I get my distance then I can get the building in and I've got it quite not how was quite nicely on this video right now but going back to what I was saying when the shuttle enters this building they open two of these doors so right now if I can put my finger in there th this door here and here is all all that is actually open so this door right here down is opened for the shuttle to get in now for the Titan rockets it has to open all of them so can you imagine the colossal size of that rocket itself when it's actually in this building it's absolutely huge now the Titan rocket isn't actually in 
in action anymore they've t taken that one out of service but they are actually uh, developing a new rocket uh, this is actually by a company called SpaceX who is new on the scene uh, they're later to ho host uh, a launch here within the next couple of years actually but we'll see how that we we'll see how that pans out you know they pet they uh, always put their uh, you know their launch dates and their active dates you know they're well above when they usually come online I know when I when I worked back in Colorado Springs working with the GPS con uh, satellite constellation and I was on the team that brought on the AEP uh, advanced uh, evolutional what is it architectural evolutional planning it was the latest uh, command and control system first one in 20 years actually for the uh, for GPS satellite navigation or um, constellation so that was pretty pretty huge and they had a date of operation for uh, 10 years they said you know it was it was back in like 91 and that bloody thing didn't come online until uh, what was it last last year 2007 <laughs> yes yeah, so those dates are usually fairly primitive in their nature you know they're not not always the most accurate of dates but that was pretty huge if you want to know more about that I'd gladly tell you about it I've I've got some pretty pretty huge accomplishments that I'm very proud of under my belt so I'm always open to talk about that if you are interested but as for this building that is the the vehicle assembly building and this right here this little little attachment on the huge building itself this is NASA control uh, the NASA tower in 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 uh, in my language uh, they, I actually talked to the to the individuals in this building on launch day they have direct contact with the astronauts themselves now I don't actually speak with the astronauts. I do actually host the countdown uh, from T minus 90 seconds down all the way to uh, one second. We don't say zero. We just say silent. We just stay silent. And for God's sake, don't say blast off. <laughs> That's a little standing joke that we have. We do not say blast off at zero. You guys probably, hopefully, you are laughing because that is hilarious to me. I, when I the first time when I went through training and they said, look, we don't say whatever you do, don't say blast up that was absolutely hilarious to me that was so funny but yeah I'll get a bit sidetracked there but yeah those guys NASA Tower those are uh, the key role in the launch of the shuttle uh, mission it's a very attractive building actually as there's a huge glass window here I would pan around the building but uh, obviously I'm in this set location right now but yeah I've hit on a number of points right there uh, the the shuttle is actually transported into this facility via via what you've seen in my previous videos on the crawler yeah it actually crawls along a path and is actually entered in and out of this building um, so that's that's very cool um, if any of you guys want any other questions answered on this building, I I will gladly answer them. Let me just turn the camera around real quick. Yeah, I hope rise everybody screaming the ugly mugs back on. But like I said, there's actually two facilities. Oh, I'm zoomed in here. Sorry, guys. There's actually two facilities that I actually wanted to, or two sites. Sorry that I wanted to uh, show you guys today. Now, and it's very much related to the shuttle launch. Um, if any of you have watched the NASA channel, uh, I promote my family and friends to to check out the NASA channel during launch launches of the shuttle because they do actually uh, flick in on our uh, mission um, mission control room when uh, during launches. So you just might see me. You'd be like, "Hey, I know that guy. That's English Twist or Ben." You know, as my friends and family know me. So yeah, um, if ever you've watched that channel during launch days, you will have seen this location over here. Let me just turn it around, and there it is. Let me just drop the window. This right here, oops, sorry. This right here, look, is actually the countdown clock on launch days. You see that, guys? I thought that would be of interest to you. See right there, it actually hosts the hours, minutes, and seconds. That is the countdown clock that you will see on the NASA channel on launch days. All right, that's like the big clock. That's the clock that everybody uses on um, on all the TV shows and on the NASA channel. All right, so I thought, oh man, look at me, I'm getting a bit bloody carried away with this camera. There we go. But uh, 
Oh, you can see my meat and cheese shirt. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's the that's the subject of today's video, guys. I hope you liked it. This was another English twist, Space Boys Quest. Um, let me know what you think. Post your comments. Rate, comment, and subscribe. All right. You know what time it is. It's time to rock out. This is English Twist signing out. Day.